it's proving to be a very polarizing morning this morning in Washington, D.C. Lots of protesters out with, uh, of course, Donald Trump getting elected as president. Here at the inauguration, there's a lot of great people that have come into town, but of course, a lot of people that also don't want Donald Trump to be president. It's a big challenge for our nation, but this is always a community event. There's always two sides to every story. And of course, I'm curious to find out what community means to these people, as well as figure out what inspires them to be here today. Hey guys, what, is, what does community mean to you? Keeping people together. Keeping people together. Unifying. Okay. What does community mean to you? Community means coming together and re and respecting and embracing everybody. Okay. What does community mean to you? Kindness. Sense of kindness. What inspired you to be here today? Messed up. Are you gonna assault me? I guess so. Yeah. So this is inclusion. This is community. This is inclusion. No, you're not included in my community. Go away. I'm trying to be part of your community. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're going to attack me. Get the fuck out of here. I attacked you. Yes, you just hit me. You're going to get arrested. You just hit me. You're getting arrested, not us. So, this is apparently the community that they want us to be part of. So, instead of peaceful protests, I get assaulted with a joust and told to leave, that I'm not allowed to be part of their community. Really inclusive. Can we all just give a ball? You're offended true. because I have an opinion. I'm willing to tell you that. No, 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 I'm asking That's your you problem. I'm asking you. And so we demand today that everything changes. That's what's happening. Okay. Come on, man. No problem, man. Billy Price. Billy Price, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati? That's it, man. I'm from New Mexico. Like, that's all the people that are so worried and fragile that they, that this election, that's what that came from. It's not racial. It just happened the last few months. I don't care. I don't care. What's racial? You can call me white, you can call me whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Call me cracker. Doesn't matter. I just witnessed her doing something incredibly kind, which is going and giving some food to a homeless woman over here. Yeah. I had food that I really didn't need and a bowl and whatever, and I saw her and she needed it more than I did. And it was just, I don't know, I just thought that it was the right thing to do. What does community mean to you? It's getting the law together, man, working as a team and pulling together as a country, of course. Is everybody pulling together, help each other out? Community is about helping each other out and spreading kindness and just being there for one another. We're trying to be decent people. Appreciating our differences. What inspired you to be out here today? I want to see the American process. Watching our democracy, which is the oldest in the world, continue regardless if I don't agree with his politics. I'm still here as a decent American person. Uh, Donald Trump served my country to pay back all the people who have served in, uh, in armed services. My brother uh, Derek actually goes to via mine. He's going to be marching in the parade right now. So we're coming here to support him and all the other cadets at via mine. Um, I am a liberal, so a big Bernie supporter, but you know, things must go on. And if we want to continue as a republic, I think that's how we should do it. So that's my two cents. I have a five-year-old that needs to go to school. And I'm excited. I'm excited to have, you know, a president that says that they love America as much as he does, and I'm excited to see if any of the changes he's talking about really happen. I hope they do. I hope that he makes some really great ones. I hope to see this be one of the best. And what do you think is the most difficult thing about hosting a good community event that brings everybody together? I don't think there's much of a challenge unless people get violent. Chaos. Safety concerns and just trying to get everyone together, making sure that everyone's here supporting each other instead of going against each other. You've got uh, one side pulling this way and one side pulling that way. Some agree and some don't. It's hard to control a bunch of people who don't agree and in the past year has been hell for our country. We need to come together. If you look at history, that's when great societies actually succeed. We should come together as a group. Uh, because we're so different. I think that's the hardest thing is just people getting outside of their box and just talking to people instead of thinking about all the things they don't have in common before they start with hello and good morning. Yeah. Well, hello and good morning. Yeah. Hello and good morning. <laughs> <laughs> to you as well. <laughs> Thank you.